Okay, here we are, NAM 2012. We're here at the Focusrite Innovation booth and we're going to look at a couple of new things that they're offering. Uh, one of them that's got a lot of buzz recently is uh, the new Impulse keyboard and uh, uh, we're going to talk to Raul here a little bit about that right now. Hi, how, how are you, you Raul? Good. Uh, pleasure to be here at the Winter NAM 2012. Um, one of our newest products here is the new Impulse keyboard range of controllers. Um, they come in 25, 49, and 61 note keyboards. And uh, let me jump on right in and introduce this to you guys. This is the um, your keyboard controller hub for the person that's looking for uh, production, some control to mix, and whatnot. Because we have also the SL range, which is uh, a kind of a step up, if you will. But this guy is the best controller for the guy that really wants to get their hands on their music and not have to worry about controls or learning anything they don't need to learn. So we have not just eight, but nine dials. And as you can see, just by simply moving up and down, I don't have to set this keyboard up. Our, our very popular AutoMap 4 um, program really allows you to mix with your ears and not with your eyes. What AutoMap does, it, it unlocks all the hardware controls on your keyboard to instantly control your software. So if I just control here, I'm able to move my dials. But not just that, what about your plugins? That's the X factor that nobody has really gotten to control. How do I control that? Well, simply by launching something, let me just launch a delay, I guess, here. Now notice, I didn't have to touch the keyboard. All I'm gonna do is just move it. Oh, Automap 4 allows you to launch and control. Move, move your keyboard the way you want to, the way you work. So whatever's active is whatever's what active you're controlling. And exactly, so this is the beauty of AutoMap 4, and the new Impulse really takes advantage of all that. Um, as you can see the control, uh, the transport right behind it, we have a nice large transport, and um, this is using the Huey protocol, so this is really fast, really accurate, there's no lag or delay. So all the controls are right in front of you. We also have some new, guy, some new features here. Um, this is not just your normal backlit drum pad. This is a tricolor, multifunction backlit drum pad. Well, what does that mean? That means when I press it, it turns red. But it's also pressure sensitive. So as you can see, the screen, as I slowly press it, is very sensitive. So this is just jump, you know, I, I like that. And the color reflects that. So if I press it soft, it's a soft red. If I press it hard, it's a hard red. So not only is it instant satisfaction from color, but it's actually a really good way to indicate, hey, I'm, I'm using my drum pad. In addition to this, we have a new thing called roll. So it's right underneath the drum pads, and if I press it, what it does is it rolls. As you can see, it's rolling for a hi-hat pattern or maybe a conga you know, uh, melody, if you will. So depending on the tempo of your song, you can set the roll function to just trigger some cool rolls. In addition to that, this is a really cool feature that you won't find on any other, any other keyboard controller, ARP. Instant arpeggiation by the press of a key. Watch what happens to the drum pads when I press it. They turn green instantly. So now it kind of visually tells you I'm in a different state. So when I hit a chord, you can see that the pads now are yellow and it's doing this step sequence. So it's a great way to create some you know, melodic uh, arpeggiations. But not just that, I can actually turn certain pads on and off to create my own melody on the fly. That is cool. That is That's, cool. That's, you know, for the producer, for the guy that wants to make something new on the fly, we've created these really cool tools to do this. Now, in addition to this, again, we're, these are new that you won't find on any other keyboard controller. AutoMap 4, the roll and art button, and if you happen to be an Ableton Live user, um, we have this thing called the clip launch. You press these two together, and what that does is it transforms these drum pads as almost like a mini launch pad, if you will. You're now able to trigger clips within live instantly. Your transport turns into this up and down, easy control for you to navigate through your Ableton Live and trigger your clips. So as you can see, we've packed a lot of punch in this new range of controllers for the producer that uses not just one program, but many programs in an easy to follow uh, way. Now, um, you know, you have your, your nice keyboard controller, or your key bed here. And the cool thing about this key bed is that it's, you know, it has a five times scan rate. So all that translates to is that when you, if you're a keyboard guy, you play certain sounds, it's, you're going to hear the difference on the, on the transients and the way it triggers your sounds initially. So this is a great keyboard um, and that's Novation's newest line. 
So um, anyway, uh, this is this is the mid range, is, but but it is for the guy who doesn't want to have several, uh, you know, different controllers on his desk. He has a small desk, he's a production desk, um, and then if, then if you want to move up, you would move to the SL series. Correct. You know, this is for the guy, like you said, who doesn't want. A lot of control, but definitely wants some control. Wants some drum pads, wants some knobs, wants some sliders. This is the best keyboard for that. Excellent. Well, this looks great. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you.